Good evening, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in real quick with an update video tonight uh, on this Wednesday, February 17th, 2021, about 9.50 p.m., kind of late out here on the west coast of California. And uh, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe shows the latest 2.8 out here in the Pacific Ocean in Hawaii. Uh, prior to that, little 2.5 up there around the state of Washington. We'll go ahead and check out all the earthquake activity at the moment right now around the globe here with the uh, latest information from the USGS over the last 24 hours. This is the all magnitude earthquake map here, uh, 4.0 and above internationally. Uh, two point or all magnitudes for the uh, Hawaiian Islands and the uh, states and whatnot here in the Puerto Rico area as well. A little bit of activity to report around the Loyalty Islands area. Had a pretty good size 6.1 earthquake striking the area in the vicinity of the 7.7 .7 earthquake that struck a few days ago. Seen quite a bit of uh, aftershock activity and an increase in pressure up here uh, towards the uh, Port Villa area. See a pretty good cluster of quakes there in the mid-5 range. Quite a few 4s in there as well. But that 6.1 striking down there right around the epicenter of that 7.7 .7 area. Also, pretty good uptick right around the Indonesia area. Uh, you can see the island movement for the most part in plate tectonics uh, in motion for the most part here. A lot of movement throughout this plate boundary here. And also up here towards the Philippines island area, just to the south there. A little 4.8 in that region. But a pretty good cluster right around this uh, little uh, plate boundary right there. Also working its way up to the north here, 5.1 right around the Taiwan area. And of course, as you travel, well, not travel, but uh, look over here towards this other plate boundary, you can see a few earthquakes right around the Hil Himalaya area and also up here towards the uh, northern northeastern Afghanistan area with a couple fours and even a 5.4 earthquake over here around Iran. <clears throat> Not a whole lot to report around the Mediterranean Sea region. Just a couple mid four pointers from the USGS there reporting that uh, information. Into the Southern California area, you can see uh, activity on a, uh, you know, if, if you look at this map, it looks kind of average, right? Not a whole lot of swarming going on. Not a whole lot of movement at all along this major plate boundary area in the uh, California area. Even Nevada showing just a little, just a little sporadic activity there around the Mina area, and a couple small earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault, along the creeping section. But other than that, folks, pretty quiet in the southern state or the southern part of California. Moving up here towards the north, not a whole lot to report. Some earthquake activity around the Mount Rainier area. We'll zoom in a little bit closer there. You can see uh, oh, about a handful of quakes. We're looking at about 17 earthquakes or so around the Mount Rainier area. Pretty uh, pretty small. It looks like the biggest quake so far is a 2.1. Um, kind of a kind of a little swarming going on folks. Nothing big at the moment. We'll check out the seismograph station here in just a second. Uh, not a whole lot of movement up here around the Seattle area. Things have calmed down for the most part along the Seattle Fault which is good for those folks. Uh, we'll check out the uh, trimmer map here real quick. Let's go ahead and see if I can find that uh, right there. And not a whole lot of trimmer to report. Only about, uh, I believe about, what, 19? 17. 17 epicenters of trimmer into Northern California along the Cascadia subduction zone there. All areas to the north have pretty much uh, um, gone quiet for the most part. Uh, look at the volcanic seismic activity around the Mount Rainier area on the seismograph stations there. You can see the area of that current swarming. And to me, it looks like it's in the region where we had seen some prior swarming well past the past two weeks on the map there. The other uh, earthquake swarm roughly around this region here, a little bit further to the east. But um, we'll go ahead and check out uh, a couple of the... Uh, uh, seismograph stations here and see what uh, we can pull up. Looks like I'm missing a couple actually. 
Hold on a second here. Okay, it doesn't look... For some reason, I could have swore there was a couple more seismographs that should be within this vicinity. They're gone now, and I'm not for sure why. Do you guys remember that? <clears throat> there should be a couple localized triangles, right? And the triangles represent seismograph stations, and they're gone from this map. And I'm not for sure why. <clears throat> so, wow. Wow. What do we have to look at? Maybe this station over here? Let's see if we can get this one to pop up here. Not for sure why they've uh, disappeared from the map there. And it looks like a couple of the uh, earthquakes there at Mount Rainier are showing up on this distant station. But the distant stations are not going to be able to pick up uh, any type of uh, uh, harmonic trimmer. If there was something going on there at uh, Mount Rainier. Let me see if, uh, ah, oh man, what am I doing here? Yeah, they're missing. I could have swore there was a couple, could have swore there was a couple seismograph stations there, folks. Why did they disappear is the question. And more than likely, these guys are not going to let me have access to the uh, to this specific seismograph there. Well, okay, never mind. A couple small earthquakes there. It's hard to tell, folks. This these stations are just just a little bit further away than I like to uh, than I care to mention here. It's. Uh, What are we looking at? Uh, a couple miles or so from the current earthquake swarm there. About a mile and a half, two miles for each station. I just, I, I don't know why they're missing. I could have swore that there was uh, some further stations here in this vicinity. I don't know. I'll see if I can find them, but there's definitely a swarm going on for the most part there around the southwestern part of the Rainier area, Mount uh, Rainier which is a pretty good sized volcano there in Oregon. Looks like, uh, at least on this map, a 2.5 being the largest quake so far in this region. Excellent uh, location quality. There's that 2.5 showing up there on a couple stations that I can't have access to for some reason, but uh, I believe one of my seismograph stations there on the live stream uh, was pretty close to that area. I'll have to see if I can find that once again. But anyway, we'll keep an eye on it, folks. It's kind of kind of a interesting deal up there. Did I say Oregon a while back? <laughs> I said, huh, didn't I say a beautiful volcano there in Oregon? Washington. There we go. It's a little late, folks. Okay. I'll blame that on the tiredness. <clears throat> but, Mount, I tell you what, there's some beautiful volcanoes there in Oregon. Okay. Don't feel left out there. <laughs> Mountain Hood's actually, I think, the, the most uh, uh, photogenic, I guess, if you will, when it comes to the volcanoes in that area along the Cascades. But, yeah, Mount Rainier, Washington. There we go. I'm sure I'm going to get corrected on that in the comments. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of crazy here. Looking at the depth of these, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this here. But they're relatively shallow. Most of these quakes are uh, relatively at the surface for the most part. 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.2. Definitely something to keep an eye on. Of course, there is some snow up there, right? I don't know if this is, uh, I, I don't believe it's some type of ice quakes, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it, folks. Rest of the Inner Mountain West, a few earthquakes out there. Uh, I haven't been able to access the uh, Yellowstone thumbnails, which is the overgraph view of uh, 
or the overview, I should say, of uh, seismograph stations there in Yellowstone National Park. Let me see if I can have access to it on a couple of these other stations here. We'll see. I don't know. Something weird going on here. I don't believe it's my internet. I hope. Hope not. Everything looks green on this side, but I'm sure you're getting some slow activity there uh, from the University of Utah and also the uh, Yellowstone Overview map. Not for sure what's going on there. Alrighty, well, it is what it is. We'll have to come back and check that out. For the most part, uh, things are just the way they are. <laughs> kind of odd. Anyway, guys, um, space weather, pretty quiet as well. Not a whole lot going on, all in the green until about the 20th of February. But even then, it looks pretty, uh, pretty minor for the most part when it comes to solar activity. No major solar flares heading this way. No major holes a little one facing us right there with that Sun uh, with our Sun I should say a little medium-sized one also a pretty good size one to the south should uh, should um, should hit us to or at least miss us closely to the south there solar wind stream flowing from this zone should reach Earth beginning February 20th but uh, other should then again, we've seen some pretty minimal solar weather events lately as well. Hopefully that kicks up. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. i got to get some sleep, right? We all need sleep. And um, stay safe out there. It's getting pretty active, at least in the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Um, yeah. Have a good night, guys. We're going to get some sleep. Much needed sleep. Peace out.